the column support part in your text looks harmless enough, but honestly, it's uh, there's a couple of little tricks that will greatly help you along. So I'm going to show those to you. Um, here's what the object looks like um, when it's complete, and um, that's what we're going to try. We're not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to show you uh, uh, different difficulties as I went through that I noticed. So I wanted to share with you. So uh, I want to create a new sketch on the front plane. Okay, and I'm going to turn on construction. Okay, and I'm going to use a circle with my center point at the origin. Then I want to dimension that construction cir circle with a diameter of 127. Okay, and this is the part that uh, really helped me out when I figured this out. Let's use the polygon command with three sides, and from the center point there, uh, just draw the polygon straight up, or, or the triangle straight up. And um, and what we've done is we've located the points where the holes go. Okay, so I'm going to turn off construction now, and I'm going to draw a circle. And you can see that um, the points have a radius of 16. So I'm going to draw a circle with a ra uh, diameter of 32. And then I'll copy that around to the points. Okay. And now I'll just draw a line from the quadrant of that circle to the tangent of this circle. And then I will use the circular pattern. I'll select that geometry, choose my axis as the center point, and I want three of those. Okay, so there you go. Uh, and once you get done with that, you can just trim it up and, and go from there. Um, and when you get done, your, um, your sketch should look like that. Okay, so the next uh, uh, thing that was difficult were, were the were the ribs. Okay, so let me show you how to do those. Now I'm turning around the object. This is actually the the top end, and the reason I did that is because there's a default plane that runs through that, that uh, this hole and through this uh, middle point of this arc here. So what I want to do is I want to create a new sketch on that plane, which is uh, the way I created it, the YZ. Okay, now you can see the um, the sketch plane running through the object. All right, and what I want to do is create a single line. Okay, now I get close to the edge and I see a line light up. If you don't see a line light up when you get close to the edge of the cylinder, that means your auto project is not turned on. So what you want to do is right click. Well, let me just turn it off and then show you what it looks like without it. So if, if yours is doing this when you try to draw a line, auto project is not turned on. So right click and select auto project. And then you'll have something to snap to. Okay. So just somewhere below the bottom, uh, below the uh, top edge, click and then do the same thing down here. And it's harder to see, but it is auto projecting an edge down here as well. So once I've done that, I want to dimension from the surface here or this edge to the point of the line. Now, if you look at your text, it looks like the the rib or the web goes all the way to the top. Um, you, you can't do that in Inventor because of the way um, this web is a has a flat surface and it meets this curved surface. And what happens is is that Inventor has trouble calculating that. So, what well, we have to compensate for that. So I'm going to dimension from that edge to here. And I've already played around with this, and that dimension is 0.8. If you make that zero, then you'll get an error message, and Inventor won't do anything. Um, next thing is I want a dimension from here to that point, and as you know, that's 19. And then finish sketch. So now I want to use the rib tool. I will select that line. Uh, for some reason, my uh, feature preview seems to be toggled incorrectly. So you may have to mess around with yours, um, but we want uh, parallel to sketch plane. If, if you can't see the preview, toggle that on and off. Um, and and now mine's showing up correctly. Um, maybe I was imagining things before, uh, but but now I'm ready to go. It has a thickness of 10, so I can select OK, and there's my um, there's my rib. Okay, nice and easy. Uh, now I want to array that polar array, basically a circular pattern. I want to click there, select that feature, and then just select the inside of the cylinder as my rotation axis. Change that to three, and now I have three of them. Okay, just that easy. Okay, so 
now I have um, let me make sure this is uh, as it as it was before I was doing my uh, yep my tutorial here. Sorry, I haven't forgotten about you. Okay, so I think I can delete that now. All right, so I'm going to go back to my layout. Okay, so here's the, the front view of the object, and I'm going to project a top view. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and add my, um, my center lines. And this um, for this exercise, I want to do a broken out section. Okay, and a broken out section is to just show the basically the detail of a small, if it, as if a small part of the object were cut out. And I think what would be helpful to see on this particular object is if uh, so we can see the how the bottom of this hole is shaped. Okay, so let me just um, what I want to do is I want to left click on this view and then select Create Sketch, and then I'll use the line command and I will draw a line. These are not supposed to be straight. I'm intentionally drawing it jagged. Okay. Then I'm gonna go outside the object and then go back to the beginning. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll select Finish Sketch. And now I have that uh, little jagged area. Okay. Now I need to go back to Place Views and select um, Breakout. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll select the view again and then you can see that sketch that I drew previously highlight okay now I need to tell it how deep I want to cut okay um, and I need to define it from a point on the object and probably the easiest thing to do is to just don't pick this point here but pick close to the edge uh, close to the center I mean just right there uh, remember that point is basically this point on the front view okay and the distance from here back to this hole is approximately 70 okay that'll get us back in here to this this area so we can see what the bottom of the hole looks like so let's uh, let's click OK and you can see that we have uh, created a broken out section okay um, sometimes uh, you may want to um, turn off um, hidden lines uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave these here but if you ever want to do that you can click on the line right click and uncheck visibility uh, sometimes that's preferred sometimes you just leave them turned on but uh, for this exercise I'm just gonna leave this one turned on and um, and of course you you're not you're not quite done at this point you need to fill out the title block you need to uh, for this particular object let's go ahead and put an um, not an auxiliary view an isometric view up here um, and you want to properly dimension the object. Um, so that concludes uh, this video.